Hello and welcome to the Sacred Light Collective podcast. You are with Ali. And hello, beautiful souls. Hello again for another week. What a week it has been for me. So much action, so much expression, so much creation. It has been a long time coming, but starting to feel the shift of the energies post the eclipses, post the full moon, starting to feel the momentum building. How about you? How are you finding the energies now? I will caveat that by also saying that I've been receiving a lot of downloads around still honoring the flow and the cycles. And there have been days where it's been clear to not move and to just allow things to sit and to settle, to be patient has been coming through quite a bit. And in fact, I uh, have been connecting so much with the energy and frequency of the star mothers, um, who you may or may not have heard of, but you will be hearing more about them uh, as I share a bit more about my experience with them too. But they've really been dropping in with this message uh, since the, the full moon of just really allowing ourselves to continue to slow down and to be patient Uh, of not trying to move too quickly or pushing or forcing to move quickly to get on to the next step. You know how sometimes we get into that frame of mind where it's like, oh, great, that energy is over or, oh, I can feel the the, the shift in the energies, which is what happened to me. I, I felt the energy release and open up and I was like, oh, this is great. I'm ready to dive in now, to dive into what I've been waiting, you know, waiting to bring forward, waiting to pull out and birth. And essentially they were saying, let it be that you sit in this space. So some some portions of the journey have, have been in this pause energy again, in the patience. So waiting for the green light and the signal that it's time to go, it's time for action. And it's interesting because I've been um, in the mode of sharing some new offerings this week. And that's what I want to talk about a little bit in this episode. But I, you know, have been ready to hit hit go and and share and uh, talk about them. And I kept getting the not yet, not yet, like wait, wait, wait for some time, wait for some time. So it's been super interesting to just honor and observe that and then how good it's felt to really get the full body uh, response on that green light. And because really what the Star Mothers were sharing around that too is this is really about honoring the cycle and just allowing that natural shift to occur, the unfolding to occur and really creating more ease in, in the body, ease in our movement, ease in the flow. And trusting the process, right? So trusting the process that's led us to where we are and that it will continue to carry us forward when it's time. But to be in presence, to allow calibration to also occur and prime you for the next step. And that was really interesting when that that sort of came in because it made a lot of sense to me. Of course, the energy is shifting or, you know, you're transforming, you're moving through something. So there is a bit of time that's needed to allow that to really to integrate and to allow the up level or the upgrade to calibrate. Because I I often say this when I'm working in a session with with someone that when we're working too with the body, sometimes the body takes 24, 48 hours to really sort of catch up to what we have created on an energetic level and I know for myself that there are times where it's two or three days post a shift happening that my body will start to say oh hey Ali I need some rest or you know I need I need extra hydration or I need to move today you know I need I need to move this through so it's really about honoring the process and what is you know and and I I just love the synchronicity. I never get tired of the synchronicity. But what is so beautiful is that a lot of this came back to opportunity for me to really sit in the energy of allowing and receiving. And, you know, I spoke about that last episode of the reactivity and moving into allowing. And it's been really, really interesting to observe how much uh, that's been playing out in my week already. And it almost feels like, you know, a month has passed actually because there's been so much opportunity for me to really be in the energy of allowing 
And, you know, I, you can <laughs> Life has been throwing me some experiences and life has been really showing me the opportunity to put this into action time and time again, sometimes, you know, back to back three times in a row. And I feel like it's been uh, interesting to actually really sit in this energy of patience, to sit in this energy of trust, to also cultivate the allowing. Because there have been moments where my mind has sent me on a bit of a story and taken me off onto a a bit of a path and I've kind of just come back quite neutrally and just said you know to myself okay so what what do I need to allow here how can I surrender to this experience how can I allow this to just unfold within me to let it be there And so again, you know, and I, I apologize if I'm sounding like a broken record, but this is what's here in the energy really for me to share. And this is the path that we are all walking right now. I even had a conversation with my daughter just the other day of, you know, tapping into the discomfort and the uncomfortableness that she was feeling about a experience. And I said to her that in because she was saying to me, do I, do I do something? Do I have a conversation? Do I take some action? And I said to her, how about you just sit in it? I know it's uncomfortable and I know you want to resolve it and you want to move on, but how about you just sit in that energy? And so that's just an example of, of how, you know, it's playing out in, in everyone's life at the moment. You know, I'm, I'm not sure that that was the advice my daughter wanted to hear, but you know, to, to, um, you know, celebrate her, to honor her. She actually took that on board and said, okay, I'll give it a go. And I think that's all we can do, isn't it? We can only just keep trying. We can keep giving it a go. And that's kind of how, when I reflect on my week, I've had to really give it a go this week and I've had to really let go and allow. And it has been, uh, easeful in some moments, not so easeful in others. But ultimately what I come back to and what I'm feeling, even as I just tap into that, the energy of that message that I'd received from the star mothers was to really trust the process, to trust that you've been led here, to trust that you are being led through this and that that is what you can really count on. You can lean into, that's what you can surrender into, that you're exactly where you need to be and just to allow yourself to honor that to accept that and to to be with that and of course we are human so as I said personally there are days that that feels better than others and some days I've just scraped through (laughs) in the allowing but it's all okay right it's all part of the learning process because we're undoing we're undoing this way that we have always operated. We are undoing the patterns, the subconscious, the, the response in the body. We're undoing all of this to create this new way of being. And so we need to be patient with that too, right? We need to be patient with that process of the undoing and the relearning, the, the becoming more of uh, that true essence of, of who we are made up of. And, you know, it's it's so interesting as well. Again, the synchronicity has just been <laughs> dropping in so much and, and I can really see now just how much this year has been building. You know, we're in November. Can you believe we're in November? Now, I remember in the start of the year, I was gung-ho, ready to jump in. I had all these opportunities opening up, um, opportunities presenting themselves and doors opening. I was stepping into new energy, new ways of being, and and I was starting this transformation process. And I, you know, got a few months into the year and I was not where I thought I was going to be. And here I am in November feeling like I'm just starting to get into the place that I thought I would be back at the beginning of the year. And even though that in itself has been challenging as I recognize the patience that I've needed to trust the process yet there and to just keep honoring that. The beautiful thing is that it makes so much sense that I'm here where I am right now and that things are unfolding the way they are unfolding right now. And all of the those pieces, even right back to December, January, all of those pieces have played into what is happening now. And 
you may or may not have seen this offering that I have um, released around uh, Amplify Your Light, a four-week program. It's a group program so that we'll have three group calls together for an hour um, once a week and there is a week there where you get a one-on-one session with me, a 30-minute one-on-one session so we can do something really unique for you, really working with what is there for you. And what we're really tapping into is this call to amplify and expand your light. And some of you who've been following me and the, and my journey, you've heard me talk about this before because the call to amplify personally has been coming in since the start of the year. And I knew that, that it was uh, something that was going to be birthed into an offering to support you, but it's taken probably six months or more to fully come to fruition. But I'm so excited about it because I feel like so much more is making sense and has landed for me that it is so much more than I first sort of tapped into, first even realised. And I'm, I'm so excited not just for the connection, the light body activations, the really helping you to become more aware and of your light, to expand that light, but also to, to gather in a group space because that is what is becoming really evident is that there is so much power in yes, when we're doing our one-on-one work and that's creating the ripple effect, but when we're doing the work together in a group, we're amplifying the ripple effect of that that healing or uh, that expansion, that amplification, activation, whatever it might be. And so something that is becoming super clear for me is about really bringing the, the part of my individual mission and my Um, call to service to the collective, bringing that more together. And so that is something that I'm excited about, that we will be just simply by gathering for that group call, gathering to do the work on ourselves, we will also be contributing to the raising of the collective frequency, the uh, consciousness of humanity. And that is something that we can do simply by showing up for ourselves. And, you know, the, the understanding for me of Amplify Your Light has really deepened as well because as uh, the last couple of weeks have unfolded in the lead up to really bringing this forward to invite you into this space, into the container of Amplify, um, you know, I've, I've been feeling into the energy of the, the portal and I've been feeling into the energy and the beings that are supporting us in that space and what they've been really sharing with me is the understanding that amplifying your light is not just about you seeing and feeling and connecting or aligning to the light within you but it's also amplifying your light through the action, the following, the expression from the ideas, the inspiration or the wisdom that in a voice that is prompting you to share or to create or to be whatever it is. And, you know, that could simply be starting to uh, smile at the person you're passing in the street to say hello uh, to that person. Perhaps it's at the the shop that you regularly visit, your, your coffee shop. Uh, When you're grocery shopping, it's connecting with people with a smile, with a hello. It might just be engaging in a new hobby or exploring, learning, studying um, something new, something different, something that you're passionate about. It might be opening up a new career pathway for you. It's, It's taking the action to do what amplifies your own light to uh, share your passions, to create that external, really external ripple. So it's not just holding the light for you, but it's sharing that light and connecting with others, Um, you know, leading or help, being a helping hand, um, being maybe a, a compassionate space holder, whatever it might be, but this is taking it to 
I guess the next level is what it feels like. There's so many ways in which you're going to be called to amplify your light. And it's really, as I said, only recently become apparent to me that when I feel the call to action, when I feel the call to share and express, um, and, you know, I ask for confirmation, is this for me or to be shared? And when I feel the response is to be shared and expressed, I get this sense of light, the, the light expanding in my heart, like my heart expanding and my chest feels really with my light. And it only really occurred to me the connection when I noticed that experience and then I could feel, you know, spirit saying to connect more when I'm out and about, to really be conscious of my light, to take some breaths and expand my light and even just to shine my light when I'm walking down the street particularly when I'm walking through high traffic areas, you know, where there's lots of people. So this is like so much bigger than our personal journeys. It is really allowing others to come into contact with our light, to be inspired, to connect to the, their own light within them. Because by seeing your light and feeling your light and engaging with your light, you are creating a mirror for them to reflect the light back to them, to reflect their own light to them. And that's the depth of this ripple effect. It is the reflection, the invitation, the inspiration, the empowerment for others to also begin to see, to feel, to know themselves as light, to know their light. And as we do this individually, amplifying to our inner light, we're anchoring and grounding these frequencies through the collective. And this is how we begin. We begin by creating this community. By walking the way, by walking the path, we set the example. We inspire and we lead naturally just by doing our own thing. Because can you see how the flow on effect and how powerful it is when you're connecting to your own personal journey, when you're connecting with amplifying your light, your sense of being and how that creates this natural purpose. You know, you're already enacting your purpose without even consciously connecting to it. When you focus on your journey, you amplify your light, you connect to that light, you follow the action, the guidance, the whispers, and you share that. You express that. You don't hold that back anymore. You expand it. So this has really been the theme and the overarching premise of bringing this program, this portal amplified to light. And I have, as I said, quite literally been walking this path for most of this year, but it's taken me all of that time to really grasp the significance and the power of this. But that is why I'm even more excited to share this with you, to co-create, to lead and inspire together here. You know, we're really, when when it dropped in for me to create under the Sacred Light Collective, I really didn't have any inkling of the, the depth of what that would be or what that even means. And, you know, I've sp- spoken here about wanting to create a community and I didn't really know how I was doing that or how that was going to happen. Oh, but here we are because this broader ripple effect that we're creating, and I say we because you and I are doing it, by you receiving and partaking in my podcast, by you taking inspiration, by you taking the lead in your own life, putting it into action, Connecting more deeply to your heart, to your inner light, allowing you to amplify that, to expand that. 
because now after listening to this, you're going to go step out into the world and you're going to step out into the world differently. I can feel that. There's going to be a way that you carry yourself a little bit, a little bit differently now that you have this awareness. And, and this is my mission is to share this and to shout this from the rooftops. And I might say this a hundred times over, a thousand times over, a million times over. But I can feel my light amplifying and expanding as I tune in and can connect to this. We are creating a movement, a ripple effect, a wave of unity consciousness back on the planet. And you don't need to join the program. You don't need to sit in the portal space with me for this to occur. I would love to have you there if that feels aligned for you. And I will put some information in the show notes so that you can feel into that a little bit more if it's for you. We begin on the 1111 portal or depending on where you are, what time zone, that might be 1011. And I can feel that this is just the beginning and that there will be more of these offerings in 2024. But I want you to step out into the world now with this knowledge that you have the power to inspire, to lead, to guide, to empower through simply allowing your own light to be amplified, to expand, to be expressed in however that feels resonant for you. Whatever lights you up even more, do more of that. And I'm going to segue hopefully really neatly into the 1111 portal energies. You know if you've been around a while, you know I love the number portal energies. I am drawn to the numbers. It's the way my guides often send me little synchronistic signs to let me know I'm on the right path. That was really how my journey first started. And 1111 was a catalyst for that because it would always show me the new beginning that was unfolding, what was new that was coming in, what was being activated. And what is really beautiful is, again, you know, following this thread of synchronicity is that what I'm feeling for the 1111 portal is very much this. It's light body activation. It is creating that deeper amplification of your inner light, your awareness, the knowing, the connection, the alignment to that and allowing that to be expressed to really anchor more of your higher consciousness in your physical body to create more unity within your form, within your self that is here now to empower you to begin to create from this place, to manifest from this place of your higher consciousness. So I'm also opening up a handful of sessions on the 1111 portal, which is, of course, in uh, Australian, the Australian time zone. Those are just 30-minute sessions. So if you want to just tap in for a, a session and, and really capture the potency of the 1111 energies, then that might be something that feels aligned for you. And that might give you a bit of a taster of what it's like to work one-on-one -on -one with me. And so maybe in the future, there is something there that we can dive into more group work together. And that then brings me to the third exciting uh, offering that is, is really coming forward. And this is probably less of, a, of an offering, but I really want to just uh, introduce you to the Star Mothers Worldwide, which is an incredible community and movement that has um, that has just expanded my my field and expanded my connection and really 
really neatly come into this beautiful synchronicity of amplifying light, of expanding, and of, of course, working towards this uh, collective raising of the consciousness of really tapping in and supporting humanity's um, vibration and higher consciousness access. And their founders, JJ Brighton from Activations with JJ, who I've spoken about before, she's a dear friend of mine, and Queenie Hilfer of Reiki Flow and Healing. They have been working with the Star Mothers for probably 12 months or more now. And they have really felt this call to service to bring this anchoring and grounding of the star mother frequencies of, of the higher consciousness frequencies and to create this from the community to really bring in uh, the sense of community, kind of bringing in more of the co-creation element as well and I'm really proud to announce that I am a global council member and I was really honored to take on this role and I'm also part of the moderation team in the forum so I'm really super active in this portal space and what's so exciting about it is that the portal is free to enter so you can sign up to this amazing portal that is full of free content that you can dive in and out of whenever you like or whenever something resonates to you. There's an incredible community forum. At this point in time, I think we have over 350 people in the community forum all over the world all like-minded souls and you know all coming together to work you know on raising uh, each each of their own individual uh, higher consciousness but to also support the raising of consciousness through humanity and across the planet and what's really um, beautiful too is that there is a free monthly virtual circle so you can come online once a month where the um, council members will be channeling messages, transmissions, you know, healing frequencies, activations, you know, who knows what will come through. It's whatever is is coming in for uh, the group at the time. And the the bigger vision within that is really about uh, creating in-person gatherings. So kind of expanding this reach across the globe. And so at the moment, JJ uh, has been running a few in-person gatherings in the US. Um, she is looking for us to expand that and to continue to expand that, right, creating the ripple effect by um, everyone sort of starting to take out the, uh, carry the baton, I guess is the way of putting it. So I'm really excited to, to be one of the representatives here in Australia for my Australian family or Australian New Zealand family. And uh, my fellow uh, council member, Lauren, who is based in Sydney, uh, is also representing us here in Australia and New Zealand. And we are really keen to bring together a retreat in 2024 that will um, bring people from across the country to a location yet to be decided, we are, are nowhere near planning anything other than knowing that that's what we want to do in the early early part of the year. So watch this space for that. But I'm just sharing that too because I would really love to hear from those, particularly Australia, New Zealand uh, listeners who are interested in gathering in person. Uh, it would be great to get a feel of who would be interested in that, where you might be coming from, so that we can kind of plan the location that maybe is going to to work best for the majority. Um, I, as some of you will know, I'm based in South Australia, in Adelaide, and I would also be really keen to hear from my local, local community because I would love to do something uh, local as well. And initially, I think that that will be a virtual 
uh, a virtual circle online and I'm really feeling, funnily enough, really feeling that for the 1212 energies in December. Um, that That's what was just coming into my awareness over this last week and I haven't really sat with anything more than that. It just landed that I will offer, um, yeah, uh, under the Star Mothers Worldwide uh, banner, I will offer a virtual circle to connect with the Star Mother energies in uh, in December. So there's so much there, there's so much happening, and I feel like I've just dropped a load of information in your lap. And so this episode is a little bit different, but I'm so excited to share all, all of those three elements that are coming through in November because they all align to each other and it's all starting to give you a picture of, of where we're moving to with the energy as well and what's being asked of us and allowing ourselves to kind of come into remembrance of, of who we are and why we're here and what it is that we really uh, feel called to do, aligned to do, what we feel passionate about, what lights us up, and then really starting to make some of those changes and bring that into your day-to-day life. You know, that is where we're kind of, that's my feel anyway, and as always, take um, or leave what doesn't resonate. But what I feel is now that we're going to be poked and prodded a little bit more about stepping more into our truth. And when I say truth, it's about about who we are and and who we are here to to be, and what we are, uh, the ways that which we are to express our light, to shine our light, to share our light, and that is going to the call is going to become stronger. And I know for a lot of people, they're feeling that that push as well. And I've been there; <laughs> that was me at the end of last year, at the end of twenty twenty two, actually. Um, and it doesn't require big, rapid change. Remember, as I always say, small incremental steps. It's one step at a time. So beginning by just becoming aware of what it is that's lighting you up, becoming aware of where you would like to expand into, and maybe what is one thing that I can do to step into that? What is the inner voice calling me to do? You know, is it a time for action or is it a time to go within and do the inner work? It has felt like a a year of inner work for me, but it is truly paying off. It it really, the the, the shifts that I'm feeling, the, the groundedness that I'm feeling within myself, I would not have if I hadn't allowed myself the space to put everything to the side really and just allow that to be my journey. My mind has told me, you know, multiple times that I haven't been doing enough or that I need need to, to do more, I'm lazy or I'm unmotivated or whatever the, the stories were, but I just kept trusting that something something had to, to be received, something had to come into my awareness and I think that that is, is something that is worth remembering and worth remembering about being patient with the journey, being patient with the unfolding and trusting in the timing as well. Thank you. Thank you so much, my dear friends. Thank you for letting me talk your ear off and share all the things that I'm sure you can feel in my energy coming through this episode, just how excited I am and how excited I am to begin to co-create in new ways, in uh, in grander, expansive, amplified ways. And I hope that if it resonates, you will join me. But as always, the light, the love, the divinity within me honors the light, the love, the divinity within you. Namaste.